Macrame, part three of the Macrame Owl Planter. I am so sorry it's taking me so long to get it done. Um, but I thank you guys for your patience and for sticking around. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ruthie, plant obsessed lady, loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Uh, so clearly, part three, owl planter. Totally dedicating this video to one specific person and I appreciate so much for you sticking around and waiting for part three and I'm sorry that I left you in limbo waiting to get it done, but thank you so much for sticking around. And that's so sorry. I am so so sorry that it's taken me so long. This week has been pretty rough. Um, I haven't been feeling good, having migraines a couple of days. Um, and I think it's mostly because uh, my workflow has changed quite a bit. I'm on the computer more, on the phones more, and oh my god, does that cause a migraine for me? But this video is dedicated to Megan Lewis. Thank you so much for your patience. I thank you so much for um going through this tutorial. It's my first tutorial for macrame, so guys. I am sorry if it was rough. I know it has been rough. Um, but you guys have hang, hung in there and I appreciate that like from the bottom of my heart. I will get better at it. I love doing it. I just started doing this a couple of months ago and um, really took to it. I find that it's um, um, relaxing and I think it's the perfect project for, this, for these times right now with this uh, COVID-19 going on something to keep your mind off of it and in in the end have something beautiful to be proud of um so let's get started guys sorry for all the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay so if you guys have gotten to this portion of the video i'm super proud of you first of all and thank you for your patience with um my project i'm sorry that i didn't post everything um as quickly as I would have liked to but I thank you guys for coming along so now at this point we're going to turn these two ends on the side I'm going to take the last two strings on each side bring them to the middle and you're gonna make a square knot okay? And I had to unravel this and redo it because my camera stopped recording in the middle of this. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring it in closer that way. When I zoom in, there's not much to zoom in. M not much left to zoom in. Okay. So you're going to square knot. You're going to bring the next two from this side. Make a square knot here. Now this portion of the basket, you can kind of do what you want. I don't think that I um, specifically kept to the pattern on the package for this portion. I just kind of did what I did. <laughs> okay, bring this portion here, make another square knot. So I, ha I had already cut the strings and everything was done with the video realized that I had not been recording so I had to unravel the whole basket and come back to it okay I'm gonna bring next two make another square knot and you're believe it or not you're almost done at this point this basket portion is pretty easy we just have to do the eyes and um, the little feet. Another square knot on this side. You're pretty much doing the same thing you do on one side on the other side. Okay, I'm going to make a square knot in the middle here.
I'm going to bring the first two strings on either end, bring them to the middle, make a square knot. I feel like I'm not centered, so. Bring the next two from the out in. The last two in the back square, not that, and then we'll we'll attach it in the front. And then bring these two. Sorry, to the side. Two middle, make a square knot in the middle. Okay. Bring the ones from the back to the front, make a square knot here. First attach this to this one, to the back, and then bring it forward. And then bring these two strings here to attach the front to the back. Okay. Another square knot. Believe it or not, we're almost done. Right, we're just going to make from the middle, separate the last two, make a square knot here. And this is just to make a little diamond pattern. Across this one. If anyone's good at braiding, you're probably kind of um, good at this. I'm not good at braiding. I can do like a regular braid, uh, a fish braid, but I can't do the attaching, like, you know, going across and attaching like French braids. Like, never was good at that. This is just a bunch of square knots, basically, okay, to make a pattern, okay, this one, attach it to the back as well, just about done here, with the basket portion. across again to the back attaching everything
back as well. Just so you can turn this. See. All right, so that's it. That's going to be our basket here. At this point, hope you can see it all. I gotta bring it down some. We are going to take this and split it. I'm gonna take the sides, bring them down just a little bit, and you're gonna start square knotting with these long pieces. Okay. Now I cut this too short after um, after I, I finished, so I'm not going to have as many square knots as I would like, but two or three will hold it. Okay, just want to give it a little space here, so that when you put your pot you have a little basket there. I definitely cut this cord too short. But you get the gist. I shouldn't have cut it when I finished last time. But I cut it because I thought I was finished. <laughs> and I didn't realize I was not recording. So. I'm just going to do one more because of the length. I'm running out of string because, like I said, I cut it thinking I was done. Get my pot. Give me one second. Okay. Let me. All right, so that is the pot in there. It doesn't have a plant. Now, if you see this one, I had enough to hold on. I had enough cord to make a longer um, a bunch of square knots and get a nice tail. This one, like I said, I cut it before I was able to finish, but it's the same concept. Um, and I didn't have enough to give it the long... You see how this has a little bit more slack here? I ran out of cord, so I didn't get that. So if you have more cord, I, you should have more cord if you do the dimensions that I told you. I just cut this because I thought I was done. Um, and it wound up somehow when I replicated it. Uh, not to be as long as I wanted it to be so all right I'm going to cut the cord here be right back okay so even the tail shorter than I would love um, but 
that's okay. Each macrame will come out a little different depending on how much slack you give to it. Um, so, just know that. This is probably the most difficult part was making the eye for the owl. I had a difficult time just because of hand dexterity and getting the appropriate um, method. So, first of all, you need about a 12 inch cord. That's gonna be the cord that you use and that you're gonna be working on. And then about a yard or yard and a half um, rope to tie onto it. Okay? And just kind of try and tie it somewhere. You can cut it if you need to afterwards. You just need kind of for it to be um, taut um, for you to work on. First thing we're going to do is a lark's head knot. So you're going to have the string about like this leave a couple of inches on the left side you're gonna hoop it over over the string so this hoop is going over and you're gonna feed it through the hole okay and tighten it so that's a lark's head knot all right and you're going to be doing a loop about a half inch. You can see that. Half inch. You're going to bring it. You're going to bring the hoop on the front, not the back. That's very important. The hoop is going to roll. Um, the string is going to go over the top of the yarn. You're going to pull it through this hole. Keeping a hoop shape. Okay, so it should look about like that. About half an inch to an inch. Then you're gonna bring the string behind the cord. Make a hoop there and bring the string through that hoop. Okay, I'm, try I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way so you can kind of see, but it's really difficult without. And pull it through okay and it should look like that okay again you're gonna bring make a little hoop the size the same size as this bring it over the cord and through the hoop that you make okay so pull it through it is hot in this room okay Push this towards the other hoop. Now bring this string behind the cord, behind this cord. Okay, so this cord, you're bringing this string behind, and then you're feeding that same cord through the, the hoop. Okay, try to keep everything nice and tight. not exactly the same size it's okay I mean it's it, approximate almost like let's not get crazy so again make a hoop bring it over the top feed it through push it over okay bring this string behind the cord pull this string through that hoop Try to hold everything in place so that that hoop stays the same size. Okay, and then tighten that. Alright. I'm going to keep going. We're going to do um, about 10 of them. I'll see how, mu how much, how many I get. Because I already made one with, one with 10, so I'll probably do the same. Again, over the top. 
through the hoop. Around the back. Through the hoop. And tighten it up. Okay. Pull the hoops down. Just to kind of see. Okay, so now I have my two strings and oh, crooked. Me too. My two strings. I repeated this. First, I did one that was bigger, had a bigger loop than the other. So this loop, I'd say, is about almost an inch and these are about half an inch you're going to repeat the same steps okay all right actually are these both the same so barred. one is just a little bit smaller than the other okay but you still have make the same amount of loops and then you're going to take the ends you're going to tie them Tie them together. Okay. To make like a little um, little circle. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to show you, but I'm in my own way. And bring the, the pieces as close to each other as possible. So kind of bring the ends, tighten them up so that it's nice and tight okay? when you tie it. Okay. I'm going to make a knot here. And we will tie those other ends together too. Just want to close this up first. Okay. okay. And then take the ends on this side as well and make a knot. We will cut the excess string, so no worries, okay? So I hope you can see what I'm doing. And you should have something that looks kind of like this. Okay. I'm going to cut all these excess string in a minute. This you're going to place in here. Uh, the larger one is going to go first. Take the strings. What I did was put one string through here, the other string through here, and this can go up and down so you can, I'm going to tie it from the back, so I'm going to turn this around so you can kind of see what it looks like. Alright, so I'm going to tie it 
tie it. Make a knot. I'm going to cut the excess. What I did, you don't have to do it, I did it, was I knotted it, knot again. When I cut this, I hot glued it so that that tip does not um, come off. And I'll do that in a moment. But that's what that looks like. Let's turn it back around. Okay, and you still have these other two strings. Bring them through the back. I should have just done that while I was back there. And I am going to hot glue this there. But first I'm going to put the other um, eyelet and then we'll do that. Okay. So it's going to be the same process. You're going to take this. I'm going to tie the ends together. Okay, so I'm going to glue the, the back portion. And be careful with these glue guns because they have no mercy. It's not hot enough, really. It's hot enough now. Just a couple of beads just to just remember we tied that, that to the back before. I like to pop the eye through. Another one. Just gonna glue it on top. Now, if you want to get fancy and change the color of the eyelid or any of the body, you can absolutely do this. This pattern, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to get the other eye ready and attach it. You're just going to do the same pattern I did. Do one with um, an inch and one half inch loops and then glue them on. Tie it in the back if you want. You can glue it if you just want to hot glue it. Either way, just get them attached to that eye. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so you should still have these top pieces that are the hanging, um, how you're going to hang your piece. Now you can do whatever you want with this. You can twist these if you like. You can um, do whatever you'd like. But what I did was um, just little knots, little links. Hope you can see. So it's like really just little links. And I don't want it too long, so I'm going to stop there, do the same on this side, and then I'll show you how I connected it. Here what I did was, okay, so I apologize, but I thought I was filming and I wasn't, so I got to this portion and basically all I did was square knot down and make a knot at the end I'm sorry that I didn't film it but <sighs> camera problems y'all camera problems
so this is how I did the feet and I hope you guys can see because it's gonna be kind of difficult um, 12 inches long fold it in half you're going to bring the cord bring it fold it in half again you can see this you're gonna bring one of the cords from the top just make a little loop like that another loop like so it's like you're going to be um, square knotting it but okay so make a loop like this hope you can see that can you see that I'm gonna take this cord bring it down like this make like a little bunny ears and put this string through this hole okay Tighten it. Don't tighten it too much. Okay. Should look like that, more or less. Okay. Then you're gonna square knot down. Okay. You won't be able to see it if I do that. All right, so that's as long as I need. Um, I want it to have like a little bit of a bend. All right. So here, I'm gonna put this through this hoop here. Well, this string through this hoop. I kind of ran out of string, so.
and here we're going to stick this into one of these areas here. I'm going to tie it to the bottom here. You can glue it if you prefer. Um, it's really up to you. This is the easier way for me to do it. Um, when I was trying, when the way that the um, instruction said to do it was quite difficult to explain. So I find this much easier. To do it after the fact so and you can do these a different color if you want um, it's totally up to you I'm just tying it in the back and I will glue um, I will cut the excess cord and glue that okay so that's one and you just do four of those little suckers or two you can do two because Usually they, they're perched on two little things. I don't know why the pattern had four. I still need to cut this excess uh, string in the back. But you guys are almost done. I mean, this is pretty much it. <laughs> Hold on. Tie it right in there. Okay. And there's your feet. I'm going to turn it around so I can cut the excess pieces and glue them. Okay guys, so this is the final product. Um, that's how it will hang. Those are the eyes, the body, um, the basket. Like I said, this one is not as long because um, I cut it wrong, but this is what it should look like <laughs> if you do it appropriately. Um, I did also do a different version, which is um, a little shelf, which you can either use a terracotta, um, terracotta saucer pot. You just cut holes, drill holes into it. Or you can use this little log pieces and drill holes into it. And all I did was at this portion of the um, planter, I just used, um, I did square knots going down. I split the cords into two cords on this side, two cords on this side. Square knotted all the way down to the length that I wanted. And um, show you the bottom. Just made a, a knot. Brought all the um, edges to the middle and made a knot and that's it I mean this might be easier if you feel like it's uh, too difficult to do the basket which it really isn't guys if you got to through all of this portion I didn't put the eyes on this guy yet um, if you went if you got through this portion the body portion you guys can do the basket no problem you I believe in you guys um, I thank you for your patience with me um, posting the whole thing I will get better at doing the macrame videos I'll try to be um, have all of the sequences um, done so that I can just post them one after the other and you guys are not waiting for me I feel so bad uh, I have um, one particular subscriber right. Megan Lewis I am so sorry it took me so long to finish um, this up things have been super crazy at work with the coronavirus and just um, just life has been super crazy but I thank you so much guys for your patience for um, for sticking around and for watching you guys rock <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed um, I hope you guys are being safe healthy that um, you know these are some rough times guys um, stay home stay healthy stay safe um, and take care of yourselves uh, it, it's it's a crazy time right now and um, just same, sending prayers out there for you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. Till next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place. One succulent, plant, cacti, and macrame at a time. Bye, guys.